What's going on, everyone? It's JD's here. Today we're talking about the Houston Rockets and Media Day press conference because I think the things said today were pretty interesting and will be very relevant for the Rockets moving forward. So, what's up? My name is JDC. If you like the video, drop it down below, press the sub button. We do NBA content here, but mostly Houston Rockets. We finally got some very great Rockets news today. So, if you like what you see, drop it down below, press the sub button. I really appreciate it, and let's get straight into it. So, the Rockets they had a Media Day today and had a press conference with a lot of players and, you know, some staff. Uh, Steven Silas and Raphael Stone to be exact, but they also had John Wall, KPJ, Jalen Green, uh, Christian Wood. Those are the four main, but also had people like David Nwaba there, Jay Sean Tate, Daniel House. So had a lot of players today talking to the media and some things today were pretty interesting to say the least. So uh, the one thing I want to talk about, the first thing I want to talk about is the way John Wall's handling this whole trade situation, because I think he's handling it very professionally. Uh, in the press conference, he said that both teams or well, both parties uh, decide to part ways. Uh, it, they both decided it would be fair for each team to uh, part ways. But until that happens, his role in the team is to be a mentor and help the young guns, which is honestly very surprising to me because I thought John Wall would be mostly salty about the situation because obviously, you know, we weren't very good that last season. Uh, I thought, you know, he'd be pretty, you know, not too great about the situation, but it looks to me that he's handling it pretty professionally. So until that day comes when he has to get traded or when he is traded, he's going to be a mentor for, you know, people like KPJ and Jalen Green, who definitely could use some more mentoring because they're only 20 and 19 years old. So it's very good to see that we got this type of mentoring on the team alongside Eric Gordon and DJ Augustine. So uh, that's the first thing. And now the second thing I want to talk about is that the Rockets seem to have some very good chemistry. In watching today's press conference, I could just feel the energy from each player you know, there was this, there was this one time, well, yeah, and one time in the conference where uh, people were talking about, well, the players were talking about how they would call, the younger players would call David Nawaba Uncle David. So, I don't know, I, th I, found, I found that pretty funny. It just screams that this team has a lot of chemistry, especially with KPJ and Jalen Green. You know, Jalen Green did talk about that in the press conference, talking about how KPJ and him have been building up that chemistry since the G League bubble. And it's very apparent because, you know, KPJ and Jalen Green, they're pretty much the exact same player like Jalen Green said in the press conference where he said that KPJ, KPJ is the exact same player as him, but as a lefty. So uh, I just feel like their, their games are going to bounce very well off each other. And I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see, especially with this with this chemistry, with the team. There were a select, a select few players that did show up today for the conference, obviously, like I said at the beginning, but... It's going to be interesting to see what the lineup looks like next season because we're getting very close to the season opener, which is in around, I want to say, eight days from when I'm recording this, which is September 27th. And we do play on the 5th of October, which is a Tuesday, so which is next week. So, yeah, I mean, this the chemistry from this team, it's so much more better than it was last season because... Obviously, the James Harden trade rumors were surrounding the team. Russell Westbrook just got traded for John Wall and then a the first round pick. Oh, sorry. We got uh, Christian Wood on a $13 million deal for three years, adding up to $41 million, And then uh, had a lot of very rough times during the season. But this is the one time since, you know, beginning of, I want to say like 2019 season where the Rockets finally have some very great chemistry. And I think everyone knows that we want to be competitive. I, even I want us to be competitive and make the play and the playoff spots. So the Rockets, there's just a lot of chemistry flowing from this team. And it's going to be very exciting to watch. And now the final thing I want to say is that the defense is going to be very underrated on this team. Uh, Jay Sean Tate, to be exact, talked about this in his press conference. One of the reporters asked him, you know, what the ceiling is, is for the team. And he talked about uh, Daniel Tice, who I think is going to become a rim protector, do all the dirty work. And, you know, someone that can, you know, just hold it down in the interior. Because like Jay Sean Tate said in the press conference, that was the one piece that we were missing. And it's pretty true. We were missing an interior presence in, obviously, the interior. And we didn't really have a shot blocker other than Christian Wood, who is... You know, he's decent, but also someone that can't play interior defense all that well. So uh, bringing in Daniel Tice, I'm finally starting to come, turns with, come to terms with the Daniel Tice signing because it makes more sense for us than it does for any other team. You know, we do need some interior defense. So bringing a veteran that plays defense for us and that can just hold it down in the interior that doesn't need to score that much. And, you know, we're pretty much set. And uh, looking at the other players on the roster, you know, Jay Sean Tate, obviously, a uh, very good defender, probably our best defender right now. Uh, Daniel Tice, like I said, Usman Garubo, who's going to become very underrated on the team. And then we got Josh Christopher. This four lineup, well, these four players right here, that's a very great lineup right there. And then you can add in like Jalen Green or KPJ, you know, kind of just mix it up or DJ Augustine or Eric Gordon. You can do a lot of things with this roster. And 
defensively it's gonna become very deadly so uh, honestly like the rockets we're look we're in a pretty great position right now i think you know everyone knows their role everyone knows that we're trying to be competitive and i think we can with the right pieces and you know the right play style i think we can become competitive the one thing i'll say is that steven Silas does need to change his playbook a little bit because we do run the pick and roll a lot which obviously it does make sense because christian wood probably one of the best pick and roll bigs in the league and then alongside kpj and jalen green who are very great playmakers so uh it's fine to run the pick and roll most games but i'd like to see a little bit more versatility on the offensive end from steven silas and you know kind of just seeing you know different plays there were some glimpses of him making some pretty great great plays i remember this one game with the pelicans uh he did this inbounds play where it was a back screen and then uh, daniel house would just cut to the basket for an easy dunk and from the inbound pass so uh steven silas i think he has potential to become probably one of the better coaches in the league right now but as for right now he still is a I want to say he's not even a rookie coach, but he's still not really ready to really exert himself as one of the best coaches in the league. So uh, just give him some time. I'm just going to give this whole team some time because we are still very young and I think we could be competing in the next few years. So especially with KPJ and Jalen Green, they could become one of the best duos in the league, just really depending on what happens. And I'm just excited for this season overall. What was said in the press conference today it just made me really excited for the team. So uh, I am going to be streaming the season opener on october 5th which is a tuesday so uh, look to watch that we are against the wizards and i think it's going to become a very great game so uh, that's the, end of the video my name is jdc and i'm out peace